Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a shoe haul and it's quite large or larger than any haul I did that included shoes. I am not really a shoes girl. I don't own a lot of high-end shoes. Um, most of my shoes are just from like, um, well I guess they could be considered high-end but like, you know, like Billabong or like Reefs, like just very local, casual types of sandals. Um, as far as heels goes, I don't own that much either. Most of my wedges are from like Skechers or Target, but I did splurge a little on shoes and heels. Um, I didn't get this all at once, it's accumulated, but I just wanted to show you guys and I kind of want to give like a really brief review because some of these are quite expensive, so um, I just wanted to let you guys know how I feel about them, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Now the first pair that I've gotten are um, slippers from Michael Kors and I need to correct myself, I did not get them, my mom had purchased them for me. Um, because she got a gift card, so she decided to uh, get me flip-flops. And I thought these were the cutest flip-flops to have, and especially during summer. And they're just Michael Kors flip-flops. And I just love it because it has that emblem right there, that MK. Now, I'm in size 7, which is quite big because I'm 4'11", and my feet are size 7 feet. Which makes me sound ridiculous, but yeah. Um, I always get teased about that all the time, but... These retail for $29, which I think are pretty cheap, especially for something that's a uh, name brand. Um, you know, I know they're just flip-flops, so they're not the best quality, but I feel like they will last longer than other flip-flops that I own. Um, so as you can see, I just like the really gold hardware, and then it's just brown right here. These aren't the only designs that they have. They have like a, I think it was a leopard one which they sold out on and they have like a new coral one which I wanted but I'm not sure if I could match anything with it. They have a lot of different colors and designs. They have black ones too and silver ones so definitely check it out. I got it at Macy's in the shoe department and um, yeah so I really like these. They're really comfortable. The one bad thing is they have this like nice black, white and brown detailing but I wore these only like twice and these are peeling off already. As you can see, like, all of this, this is not the design, like, it's just peeling off, which is kind of sad, um, because when the design peels off, it's just going to be this solid brown color, which I don't think is that amazing, but, um, yeah, that's the one downside. I don't know if it's because, like, it's humid here in Hawaii, so somehow it affects this and the paint's rubbing off, but, um, yeah, that's that. Okay, so since we're on the category of flip-flops, I wanted to talk about my other one, which are also my favorites, and it's also extremely high-end, and this is crazy because I don't own any, like, extremely high-end flip-flops or sandals, and so, like, now I have a good amount, <laughs> a satisfying amount in my collection, and these are the Tory Burch flip-flops, so these are just the standard flip-flops that Tory Burch has. They have an extremely wide range of different types of designs, styles, um, they have different Tory Burch emblems on their slippers, and all of them retail for $50. So I got this, as you can see it has that gold Tory Burch detailing emblem, and then it's just like black and white, and I got the black one because I feel like it'll go with anything, and it looks great during the nighttime too, if you were to wear like a skirt, a maxi dress, or just you know, a regular dress white shorts, anything, it just goes great with this and it goes great with coral too. I wore these with coral shorts and it looked really nice. Um, my boyfriend got these for me which is really funny because that day I bought him a shirt and then I also got him a shirt from Forever 21 but um, he really doesn't want me saying that I got him a shirt from Forever 21 because he's a little embarrassed about it but um, yeah, and then I got him an Obey shirt, and then he got me these slippers, which I'm really excited for because I've never gotten anything like this. I don't know. I'm just really grateful for them. And they're really nice. And I wore these more than my Michael Kors, and, like, the paint on this hasn't rubbed off yet. And yes, this is a size 7 as well. Okay, the next sandals I want to talk about is the biggest splurge I've ever made in my life on sandals. Um, they're also from Tory Burch, and the reason why I got them was because I went, um, I went there on a sale day. I forgot what sale it was, like, 
I don't know, it was like some weekend sale, I don't remember, but everything in there, not everything, but like whatever was on this wall was like 20% off, 30% off, or like, I, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but these sandals, I believe, are like the cutest things I've ever seen ever from Tory Burch, just because it has this extremely huge Tory Burch emblem on it, and I just think it's so pretty. And the band is very fat, which I like because not only do I have big feet, but I have really wide feet, which is kind of hard for me to fit into things. It's hard for me to wear flats and stuff and certain types of heels, um, heels, not wedges, because my feet are so fat or wide that it's really uncomfortable sometimes to be wearing those types of shoes. And so this has a wide band, so it kind of makes my feet look skinnier if that makes sense so I really like these um these are um size six and a half and they're just like a leather sole and then again with just the gold detailing like the gold hardware which I really like these were on retail for $250 which I thought was ridiculous but they were on sale for $175 now I don't know if they still have them on sale. Um, they might, but I'm not too sure. And um, yeah, definitely just check their site or go on Nordstrom. A lot of their shoes go on sale um, every now and then. That's why I got them. Um, if you guys are wondering, they're like a limited edition type of style, and it's the Amanda flat thong. So like, yeah, it was like a limited spring edition, I believe, but I just love it. I love the color. I feel like it goes great with everything. One thing that I don't have in my wardrobe as well, or in my shoe collection, is like bright, fun, colored wedges. Um, I don't really wear heels, I just don't feel like it, um, it just doesn't make my legs look good. I feel like when I wear heels, it makes my legs look a little bit more like big, it makes my calves look big, I don't know. And they're more uncomfortable than wedges. I love wedges. They're really comfortable. It's easier for me to walk in them because I'm not the greatest in heels. I don't wear them as often as other girls do. So Charlotte Roos was having a sale and it was buy one, get one for $12.50. So a lot of their wedges were like $29.99 and then you can get another um, wedge or heel or whatever of your choice for $12.50, which I thought was a good deal. So I'm really excited for these. I don't know what they're called. I was trying to find them online, but I couldn't find them. So I'm not sure if they're still on sale. And I'm not sure if the sale is going on too. But I just got these bright neon wedges. Which I think is so cute. Um, this is in size 6. So it's really weird. My shoe size really like changes a lot depending on the brand. I don't know. It's so weird, but... These are size sixes, and I just think it's so cute for wedges. Like, I wear these out at night. I pair them with white shorts. I just feel like they look so good. I just really like the design of these, and like the flap, the platform on the front by your feet is quite high, so there's not too much of a height difference, so it's quite comfortable. And then I also got them in orange, which are so cute, and they're like a suede material, so it's really soft. And I just love it because I hate wedges that are like bright neon and then the wedge is like a cork or like a fake cork kind of design. I just like that it's all just one color. Okay, the very last thing that I got are um, flats from Crocs. And Crocs has a lot of nice flats now. Like, they're extremely cute. They have about um, a couple of designs, not a lot as far as flats goes, but I just love this one. I will put the information down below I just don't know what they're called um, yeah so they're super comfortable um, it has a really nice grip so it's easy to walk in and I just love these it has like all these holes so it's nice and cool and comfortable you know your feet don't get sweaty and I got these in size 6 I believe and they come in different colors I wanted it in pink and green but they didn't have my size, so I just got the standard black. And I just thought these were so cute. They're so comfortable and easy to walk in. I just really like these, and especially during the summer. And I feel like you could pull these off during the fall, too. They have brown ones, 
and I think these were $40, so I got those. Oh, uh, yeah, that is it for my shoe haul. It's quite large, I know, um, but these are all definitely, like, good staples to have in your shoe collection during the summer. That's why I really, really like these, and these are basically all I need for, like, the rest of the year because I have my nice, like, dressed-up sandals and casual flip-flops, flats, and wedges, so, um... Yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!